Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play all the riffs to You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. Now we've already taken a look at the guitar solo in another video, uh, so be sure to check that out in the playlist if you want to learn the solo instead. Or you just want to learn these first and then take out the solo. So let's take a look at this. We have that intro. It's probably the most difficult part of the song. Kind of, kind of roll your volume back a little bit uh, to get rid of some of that gain. So. But we're basically going to be starting with some little bit of high picking if you really want to get. I think there's a guitar overdub, you know, like a kind of an open D a lot in there. So we're going to do that with it. We're going to have the uh, third fret on the G, eighth fret on the B string, with the D being picked with a pick, the third string with your middle finger, and then your ring finger is going to pick the uh, the uh, B string. So in all three of those together. And then five times on the open D with just the pick, and then you're gonna you're gonna pick now put your tenth fret here <clears throat> on the B string, and then back to the eighth fret here. You can all three of those together. Then pick the open D, then eighth fret there on the B, seventh. Then seventh on the G and the open D. Then come down and grab a D chord. Just the same three strings though. And then grab the uh, third fret there on the D string, little slight bend back to those G and the B. Then you can do a quick little hammer on three to four on the D string. Back to those two G and the B strings. Third fret now, and open on the D. Start back over. This time you just come and grab the D and stop. All right, then it gets to the main riff of the song, which is pretty easy. Sounds like this. Alright, so it's based around three chords, uh, pretty much power chords. Uh, we have a G open G power chord with the A string muted at the bottom of your second finger. Then just move your first finger, uh, your second finger over to the uh, A string. Hit that twice. Then back down. Back to the thir uh, fifth string. Back down to the low E string. So we have this. to a D chord, back to the two previous chords, no, the, it's not the two previous chords, it's just the G to the D, and then again, and then you start over, so all together, repeat. Alright, now coming out of the, um, you just do that for, uh, for a while, it goes on for quite a while, and then it just goes to the D, which is kind of like a pre-chorus, to the D sus, which is just putting the uh, little finger down on the third fret with that D, in the high E string. Now we make it to the chorus, all right? The chorus sounds like this. So that's just uh, 
It starts with a G power chord, hit the low string, then strum all the strings, then that's zero, two, three on the A string. And when you get there, you're gonna hold that third finger on the B string again at the third fret. So you're gonna pick from that A string to the open G and the B string. Then, then just second fret on the A string, same picking, and then to the D chord. Now before he does that, you gotta hit like the open A and the open D string together, and then hit the chord. So this. Then back to what we just did. Then the low, uh, that G note there on the third fret on the low E string to start it all over. So eventually it just gets to that D chord that it ends on the chorus and the, that D sauce. And that's also the kind of figure that takes us into the solo. So all we have to look at really here is the, uh, you know, how that little place that takes us into the solo. And then there's a, a obviously a rhythm underneath the solo, which is a variation of the chorus riff. All right, it sounds like this. All right, so it goes in, it eventually makes it into the actual solo riff. I mean, the uh, chorus riff just play the exact way but the beginning it starts with that with this that G and then that 0 2 on the A string and then that first chord that's in the their chorus just hit that those four strings four middle strings and then kill it and then your second fret there on the A string and that same chord hit that and kill that as well and then the D chord so this back down to that G. And then see what makes it a D. Just let this nose ring and then play it just like the chorus for the rest of the solo. All right, so make sure you check out the solo video after you get these rhythms down. It's a, it's a challenge as well, most Angus Young solos are, but I think it's a lot of fun. It's just, the song itself without the solo is a lot of fun to play. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.